Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the fact that you're probably saying the ye, as in ye old coffee shop, totally wrong. And so am I by just saying it like that. But just before we get started with this video, I will say that it's brought to you by Blue Apron. The first 50 viewers who go through the link in the description below will get their first three meals completely free when they make a Blue Apron order. You might often hear the Y-E word in ye old coffee shop, for example, pronounced as ye, but the reality is that the pronunciation is actually just the. The Y-E here is not the Y-E, as in judge not that ye, you, be not judged. But it is rather a remnant of the letter thorn, which looks something like that. The letter thorn was used in Old Norse, Old English, Middle English, Gothic, and Icelandic alphabets, and is pronounced more or less like the digraph th. As such, this letter gradually died out in most areas, all but Iceland, being replaced by th. Around the 14th century, the use of th started to gain in popularity. At the same time, the way the letter thorn was written gradually changed to look a lot like the letter y instead of a something like that. Because of this shift in the written form of the letter, combined with the advent of the printing press in the 15th century, many of which had no letter thorn, printers used to choose the letter Y as a substitute for the letter. This is why you'll occasionally see in manuscripts from that period things like YAT or YT for that, and of course the abbreviated YE. Despite the use of the letter Y here, it was still understood by readers to be pronounced like thorn or the digraph th. Eventually, all but the YE popularly died out in favor of the respective th forms. Later, even ye went the way of the dodo bird, accepting being used in the names of trendy-sounding old stores the English-speaking world over. Thanks to the Bible, most people are familiar with ye instead. As they are spelled the same, most naturally assume that the two words are the same. Of course, though, ye old coffee shop would kind of be an awkward name for a shop. In the end, ye, as in ye old bookstore, is a completely different word using the letter thorn and should just be pronounced exactly like the. This doesn't sound nearly as archaic, so not exactly what the store owners are likely going for, but you know, that can't be helped. So I hope you enjoyed that video, we're going to get some bonus facts in a minute, but just before we do, I'd like to say, as I mentioned before, this video is brought to you by Blue Apron. Now the first 50 viewers of this video who follow the link that can be found in the description below are going to get three meals totally for free when they make an order with Blue Apron. Now so some of you who are watching and have been watching for a while might remember that Blue Apron previously sponsored a video in the past. That time they sent us out some amazing ingredients which we are showing here and the prepared food as well. In fact, I'm just going to leave that rolling while I talk about Blue Apron. And thanks to Noreen from PictureTheRecipe.com who helped us with the amazing photography. Now what I wanted to say about Blue Apron is basically they make making super delicious food super easy. Now maybe you're the sort of person who is like me and I kind of like, I'm going to the store and I don't need a list. And then I get to the supermarket and I basically have some sort of crisis and I buy nothing useful and I just leave with a bunch of stuff that I'm never going to actually be able to make a meal out of. Maybe that's just me, maybe it's not. Even if you are super organized when you go to the store, Blue Apron will still make things easier. My problem is I end up with all that stuff and I either end up eating something that is terribly bad for me or just something that is bad in general. Blue Apron basically takes away that problem entirely. They deliver you a box of ingredients in this little cool box thing and you just take out what you want and you make it in like 40 minutes. In fact, all recipes can be made in less than 40 minutes. There's no measuring, no guessing, no paying for shipping. It's great. So basically the package arrives, you take the ingredients out, you cook it in 40 minutes and you eat it. It is way better. So that's it. It's done. It's easy. It's Blue Apron. Just go get it. I mean, if you're one of the first 50 people, you're going to get those three meals for free. So click on that link and go check out Blue Apron. It's just, it's just easier. It's just better. Anyway, let's get into some bonus facts. Now, another common mispronunciation is Seuss, as in Dr. Seuss. This should actually be pronounced Zeus. This is because it's a Bavarian name after Theodore Geisel's mother's maiden name. Geisel actually later just totally gave in and stopped correcting people, even quipping that the mispronunciation was a good thing because it is advantageous for an author of children's books to be associated with Mother Goose. And now for another bonus fact. It has been speculated by linguists that we're all actually pronouncing vowel wrong. It should actually be pronounced similar to you. Vowel comes from the Latin to and is a cognate of the Middle Dutch do, Old Norse and Gothic thu, and Old Irish to. 
As thou started to be replaced with ye, as in you, for a time ye was used when referring to a superior person, and thou was used when referring to an inferior person, or at the least it was used informally, while ye and you would be used formally. The French, and also in parts of England, also used thou to imply intimacy or friendship. Today, the common ignorance of this translation from thou, thy, and thee to having implications on class and relationship often results in loss of understanding of certain subtleties in old works, or confusion of the usage of words when the subtlety is explicitly stated. For example, in Le Miserable, when Marius is speaking to Eponine and says, translated, what do you mean? Most today would see no problem with him stating this, yet this offends Eponine. She then laments, ah, you used to call me thou. He then replies, well then, what dost thou mean? A modern work which apparently uses this sense of intimacy or friendship of thou thy thee is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, when Darth Vader states, what is thy bidding, my master, to the Emperor? And now for another bonus fact. While you may never have consciously thought about it, there are two ways to pronounce the that are commonly used, and both are used in distinct grammatical situations. The is used when the following word begins with a vowel sound, such as the end or the hour. It can also be used when you want to stress a specific word. For example, are you saying that you dated the Kevin Spacey? In all other cases, you'd simply use the. Most people use the and the naturally without ever having noticed the distinction. In case you're one of those people, well, now you know why. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do just hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out Blue Apron as well. Link in the description below. First 50 people, as I said, get those three meals for free. And I'll see you in the next video.